All right, we are back, TNT. Welcome back. And it's time to taste up. But before I taste up with Lauren Williams, guys, um, the book really does deal with so much. I'm just skimming through. I can't wait already. I put my, 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 my hands on it and, and read it. But chapter 8 talks about nutrition, supplements, and doping. So it, it, it's, it's almost dealing with all the necessary issues that young athletes would have to face. Um, and I'm so happy to have Lauren Williams and have the opportunity to cook for a four-time Olympian. I don't, <laughs> have I ever had the opportunity to cook for a four-time Olympian? I, I don't think so. You have now made the record I'm books. Not, <laughs> I'm in the record books. Um, this, in a nutshell, I mean, what this book, why, 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 why it's a must-read for, for these young athletes? Because professionalism is key in order to succeed at sports. It's not just about training and competing. It's about knowing how to run a business. And that's what that book does. It teaches you all the aspects of running your business, your business of being a professional athlete. And I think sometimes, especially in this part that you will learn, because um, uh, I know you've been working very, very closely with the China Big Olympic Committee, but I think driving that message that, uh, for, to our young athletes that when they hit the track and they become athletes in a professional environment it's a business mm -hmm. it's no longer just running and, and enjoying and I'm the fastest or I'm the it's it's now a business exactly. they're they're a brand and, and how do you get that across to them I think is very important yeah it's really really important and I, I talked a lot to the TTOC athletes about the idea that um, you really got to tune into all aspects of who you are, all aspects of what it is that you're trying to do, and not just think kind of shallow, okay, what's in front of me right now? You always gotta be forward thinking, the same way you do with your training. You don't just show up at practice and do one good practice. You start from the championship, you work backwards to what races or what competitions am I gonna go to? And then you start working back to what practices am I gonna do? It's the same way when you're planning for any other part of life, is looking at the, the big picture um, way out there and not just what's in front of you and planning accordingly. Yeah. Look back for me just a bit and tell me you've, the, you've, the, you've, you've had the three medals. Three medals. Most memorable moment of the track for you. Most memorable moment. Um, I would say it was the gold medal in 2012. Mm. Uh, and I think it was really unique for me because I didn't run the, the final there. I was part of the preliminary round yeah. and it was a little bit of a tough pill to swallow initially that I didn't get to run the final. But I look back at 2004 and 2008 and the things that didn't go well and I realized how big my contribution was to the 2012 team and helping us get the baton around the track. Because as you know, you can have the fastest people in the world, but if you don't actually get the baton the whole way around the track, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so even though you didn't run the final in that really, the team won gold, but it's your most memorable moment. It's my most memorable moment because I understand how you contribute to things outside of actually showing up and competing. Wow, yeah. wow, yeah, that's deep. Mm -hmm. Can we taste? We can. Yeah. <laughs> let's taste. Let's taste. Um, and, and as I said, I, how, how important is carbohydrates for you? So, like, I am trying to stay away. If you look at this plating, <laughs> I did. I did a bit of arugula, which is just yes. simple lettuce. Mm -hmm. I didn't do any. I, I didn't do any pasta or any rice. Right. I'm trying to stay away from carbs because I, 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 you know, trying to get back that that. You will be back very soon by staying away from carbs. How important is carbs in terms of your, in terms of, from a nutritional perspective? I think that they're less important than people think they are. I think that you can still get the carbs, and there's good carbs too. Right. Fruit, that's also a carb. You got to be careful with, you know, seven pounds of fruit in your smoothie in the morning because now you take it in the same amount as if you eat a loaf of bread. Yeah. But there's other ways to get the carbs without sticking to, you know, we stay away from the, the white things. So like you said, the rice, the potatoes, uh, the bread, those sorts of things. But you can, you can have a little bit of carbs. Just pick the ones that are better and easily digestible. Yeah. They're not as good, though, but... They're not. <laughs> it's good, y'all. I had a Julie Mango this morning. Yes. It was good. A plus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Worth every bit of those carbs. I want you to try this recipe when you get back. You may not have the Shadow Benny, but you can use cilantro. Or I can bring some Shadow Benny. Oh, you can bring... <laughs> Let's taste it. Unbelievable. Wow. And it's just, this guy knows what he's doing. And it's a simple recipe. Mm -hmm. Get the recipe on trainingcooks.com, guys. Um, very, very, very mm -hmm. simple one to do. And it's balsamic. I, 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 balsamic is something that I was fearful of when I, and you smell it, it's mm -hmm. so strong. It but, is a strong flavor. But yeah, yeah, mixing it with some olive oil, but here, some vegetables. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. And huh? the consomme, right? <laughs> You can taste how everything is coming kusume. together. It's kusume. 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 I, 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 like, I like your effort though. A for effort. <laughs> kusume. Definitely tried. Definitely mm-hmm. tried. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Try when you get back. I plan to. So this lady, just before we wrap things up, is in the history books because she's the first American woman to win an Olympic medal. Not only in summer, but in winter because she did the bobsleigh as well. <laughs> <laughs> What drove you to bobsleigh and, and Winter Olympics? That is not something you hear much of. Very few athletes would cross that, that border. Especially when you're living in Florida. They're like, how, do, how does that happen? Mm. I didn't figure that out, Lauren. Mm. But I, it was a chance meeting in the airport. And I always focus a lot on what I told the TTOC athletes about. Earlier this week was focusing on the opportunities, not the obstacles. So when you're focusing on opportunities, you're looking for what's around me, what, what resources are available to me. And instead of being closed, you're open. So that chance meeting in the airport and asking the right question has led to me trying bobsled and six months later becoming an Olympic bobsledder with a silver medal. But if I never asked the question, if I was never open to what was the, the, the possibility, there, there's no way to succeed at that. So yeah. um, really cool thing to do, and it was really fun. I know Cool Runnings was the only thing I knew about Bob's <laughs> head before yeah. I got into it. So I think See, it's important. If those Jamaicans could do it, I can do it as well. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I want to encourage all the athletes of Trinidad yeah. as well. If you're looking for something else to do, don't look at the obstacles like, oh, there's no snow in Trinidad. Yeah. Look at the opportunities. That's an Olympic sport, and they need people to compete in it. So let's get the sled together and get going. We may not have any way to practice, but <laughs> <laughs> well, we can work that out. It's we? all relative. It's all relative. It's all relative. Very similar to track and field training, the big part of it. So you get in shape for track and field, and then you go over. We can find some place for you to get the bobsled stuff. I no need to have the attitude, well, I'm a sprinter, so I, I'm not doing bobsled because I'm a sprinter. <laughs> you got to think outside, outside the, box. the box. If you get your butt beat sprinting a few times, <laughs> but you still like the sprint, you might want to try bobsled. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Such a pleasure having you here. Uh, I want to wish you all the best uh, with the book. And uh, are you coming back? What, do you plan to give back any further to try to make over the week? Can we, will we see you back on our shows? Yes, this is the beginning of something great. Yeah. So, like you said, now that I have finished my sport and I've really done some self reflection, it's really important to me to embrace both sides of who I am. Mm-hmm. You know, my father is not here anymore, but this is the place that I feel close to him. So, um, any resource that I have, I want to make it available to the people of Trinidad and Tobago in the same way that I've been doing a lot of work in the United States to give back to the athletes and to the sport. And so that was really the the big part of this coming to Trinidad was to figure out, you know, where is there a need? What can I offer from a resource standpoint so that these athletes can um, continue to reach their full potential? You know, they're working really hard at TTOC to create the career programs. And in America, you know, they're they're full steam ahead and I'm very involved in that. So any information that I can bring to share, um, I'm happy to do that. And that's what I'm wanting to do. Great stuff. Great stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Williams this morning on the show. Um, you finish up that salmon, my oh, lady. You don't worry, I, I, I'm going to eat it. I want to thank you for being here and thank you for what you're doing. Welcome home. And we hope this is not the last time we will see you. It is not the last time you'll see me. You will see us tomorrow because your weekend starts with a cup of joe. We'll be back here tomorrow for another cup of joe.